Plastics and polymers is a section of organic chemistry that deals largely with macromolecules, which are molecules that consist of a large number of atoms. And specifically, a polymer is a large molecule composed of smaller monomer units that are covalently bonded to each other in a repeating pattern, where a monomer is a small organic molecule that can be covalently bonded to another in a repeating pattern and a repeating unit is the smallest unit that can be repeated to create a polymer. So the way that this works is that you would start with a monomer which, as the definition states, is an organic molecule in itself. But what makes it special or unique is the fact that it can become a repeating unit. So here we have a monomer called ethene, which is two carbons double bonded to each other with four hydrogens. But that can become a repeating unit by breaking the double bond between those two carbons. When that happens, each carbon is now looking to form another bond, and so these repeating units can attach themselves to each other to form a very, very long chain, also referred to as a macro molecule. Now, because we often do not want to or are not able to write out how many carbons exactly make up this macro molecule, we often write it in its polymer form where we show the repeating unit in brackets with a number n, which is an integer number that says how many repeating units there are. So once again, with the monomer ethene, we can, by breaking that double bond, create a repeating unit that can repeat itself n number of times, which creates a polymer called polythene. The reaction that is required for this is called polymerization. There are a number of important monomers to know, the first one is vinyl chloride. So the monomer that contains a carbon-carbon double bond and three hydrogens and one other atom or group of atoms is referred to as vinyl. So vinyl chloride says that that other atom is a chlorine atom. And so when this monomer unit is converted into a repeating unit and therefore a polymer, Vinyl chloride becomes polyvinyl chloride, or PVC, which is the plastic that we use in most shopping bags. Another example of a monomer is vinyl benzene, where here we have a benzene ring attached to that carbon. And when this is arranged into a polymer, or a macromolecule, it becomes polystyrene. A third example is vinyl acetate where we now have an acetate group of atoms attached to that vinyl molecule, which when repeated in a unit becomes polyvinyl acetate or PVA. And the same goes for the monomer, monomer vinyl alcohol, which becomes polyvinyl alcohol. It is important to understand the difference between a monomer, which is the unit that can exist on its own, and a repeating unit, which just shows how these attach to each other and then when they are placed in a bracket with an integer on the outside, that becomes the polymer that refers to how long that molecule is by indicating how many of those repeating units are attached end to end.